Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another pregnancy update for you. Today I am 34 weeks, which means that he is the size of a butternut squash, which is about almost five pounds and about 18 inches long. He's getting very, very big and I'm definitely starting to feel like I'm carrying around a baby inside me. I do have another doctor's appointment this week, but I had one about two weeks ago and the doctor did an ultrasound where he measured everything, pretty much like the head, the thighs, the stomach, to make sure how far along we were was the same as his size. So everything looked good, he looked healthy, he was the size that he should be, so uh, that was great news to hear. The doctor did mention that the baby was head down, so that means that he could be, you know, getting ready to be born, because that's, you know, the position that he needs to be in to be born. <laughs> so that was kind of crazy to hear that he's already in that kind of position to come into the world and to go along with that uh, my husband and I we've been taking some child birthing classes and we had one yesterday and the teacher who we've seen for the past six weeks now she mentioned that I look like I've dropped meaning that baby boy you know instead of being like up here has moved down which is where he needs to be to actually be born and she said when once they drop you have about two to four weeks before they're born and that kind of freaks me out a little bit to think that even in two weeks i could have a baby technically my due date is in about five weeks so four weeks isn't isn't stretching it too far but she she claims from the way I look she doesn't think I will make it to my due date we shall see but it kind of like put me in this oh no I need to get ready kind of mood because like I I mean there's I've done a lot but there's still a lot I need to do so I need to start getting on it I need to pack for the hospital I need to uh, put the car seat in the car. I mean like these things these big things that need to get done before the baby comes Definitely need to start happening. So I'm kind of in a way I mean it did scare me, but kind of in a way I'm glad she said it because it kind of put me in that like Okay, this could happen anytime now. I should be prepared. My sleep has still been pretty good. About maybe a month ago, we went out and bought this maternity pillow. It's supposed to support your belly and your back. The thing is huge. It takes up half of our bed, so I feel kind of bad for my husband. But it's amazing. I love it, and I do think that it helps me sleep better. It definitely helps with my back pain while I'm sleeping on my side I it's great I definitely recommend a maternity pillow if you're pregnant and I've shown it I've shown pictures of it to friends and family and they I mean people who aren't pregnant and they're like oh my goodness I want this pillow because it's just, I mean if you like body pillows this is like the ultimate body pillow my symptoms have still pretty much been the same that they've been the last few times I've still got the back pain I've still got um, the bloody noses which those have kind of started to fade away at least they haven't been coming on as strong they used to be an everyday thing now they're kind of like maybe every other day um, but they're still there I've still got the heartburn the really bad heartburn um, and I just have no energy and part of that probably is carrying around a five pound baby in my tummy but it's just hard to get up i see people on tv and even like i see my husband like just like popping out of bed or popping out of chairs and i'm just like oh that looks so nice because it takes me forever to stand up and to get going because i just have 
no energy whatsoever. I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping that the um, nesting starts to take effect again because I need to get that like motivation to start working again and doing stuff for the baby before the baby gets here. As far as cravings go, um, I think I talked about last time the ice. That's, I feel like my only real craving in this pregnancy has been ice. There have been things that I've liked and I've enjoyed, but when it comes to that like, I need to have it kind of feeling, that's how I feel about ice. And so I feel like that's really my only craving that I've had this whole pregnancy. So that's, that's a big one, still craving the ice. I have a really hard time in our childbirthing classes because they have, you know, cups with ice and water and cookies and stuff like that. And so I fill up my cup with a ton of ice and then put some water in it. And then I'm trying really hard to be polite and not chomp on the ice. So I just like sit there and like stare at my cup of ice, like wanting to chew on it so bad. but. I feel like that would be really rude to do, so I don't. Since the last time I talked to you guys, the worst thing that has happened uh, during that time frame in this pregnancy was I had a cold, and that was no fun at all because I, I can't take anything to help. And I'm not usually one to always, like, pop the pills I'm not really into that so I was okay with having the cold like that didn't bother me what bothered me about the cold was that I couldn't breathe and when I can't breathe I I oh I hate it it's the worst especially when you're trying to sleep and usually when I have colds and I'm not pregnant I always use that like nose spray and I can't, I can't use that stuff because it's medicated and not good for the baby and all that. So I just had to suffer and it was like two weeks that I had to suffer and not be able to breathe and not be able to sleep because I couldn't breathe and it was just the worst. It was horrible. I hated it so much. But then the best part since I last talked to you guys, um, there's a few things. Um, the baby has definitely been moving a lot more, you know, it's not just kicks anymore. I mean, every now and again I get a kick, but it's more like the baby's like rolling around and stuff and so my stomach is like doing like this kind of thing, which is really creepy sometimes. Um, but it's, it's kind of also kind of a cool like weird thing like if I saw it on someone else I'd be a little freaked out but because it's my baby in there I'm like oh look at you you're moving around and stuff another thing that happened was I had another baby shower the people at my church threw us a co-ed baby shower and it was such a good time we <laughs> we had a lot of fun there were a lot of fun games that because it was co-ed there was obviously the men came to the shower as well and so my husband lucas was there also and the men dominated all of the baby shower games they won i think every single game that we played the men won which was kind of funny because i mean you would think the girls would be more experienced with the baby shower games but the guys were just on it it was super funny we did vlog that baby shower so i am going to put a link right here if you want to watch it and i will also put a link down below if you can't click right there <laughs> there will be the link down below go watch it it was super fun we had a great time and also we just got back from our baby moon it was only a one night thing, like super short, super sweet, but it was definitely a great time and well needed and I'm glad that we got to do that before the baby came. My husband and I went to Vegas, which is only like four hours away from LA. 
and so we went to Vegas we stayed at this resort we did a little bit of gambling we um, laid out by the pool we did a lot of eating <laughs> it was a really good time and we did vlog that experience as well so if you want to watch that then click this link right here just click right there <laughs> and I'll also put the link down below if you want to check that out please go watch them it was a lot of fun and I think you'll enjoy watching the vlog Oh, and I completely skipped over <laughs> on accident. Yeah, it actually was an accident. I completely skipped over the whole weight thing. Uh, my weight has not been an issue because of the weight. It's been an issue because of our doctor, I guess. Here's the story. So I don't even remember what I told you guys that my weight was the last time I did a video, but it was wrong because there were two times I had this nurse who took my weight and both times I was like, that seems really high, but I don't ever weigh myself at home so I didn't really have a concept of like where I was weight wise. So I just was accepting whatever she told me and and, and they used one of those um, you know the like old school like you stand on it and it's like the weight and they push the weight over that not a digital one this nurse did it really fast and I feel like it didn't have that chance to kind of balance out the right way I don't know and but I just I believed whatever she said well that happened twice and the second time that it happened uh, like the weight was just like crazy and um, they say in a normal pregnancy uh, you should weigh like your final weight should be you should have gained around like 25 to 30 pounds this was about a month ago now and she told me that she told me the weight and I was like well that's crazy and then you know she gave the weight to the doctor and it turned out that that weight put me over that 30 pound mark and at this point I think I was like seven months pregnant so I had I still had a ways to go and I was already over the healthy mark for a pregnancy and the doctor wasn't happy because obviously it wasn't a healthy weight and it just meant that I was going to gain more weight um, so he told me you know I need to be careful I need to uh, slow down <laughs> with the with the weight thing and I was just like I I don't I don't know what I'm doing wrong like I feel like I'm eating right I'm not eating a ton I mean I don't feel like I eat that much more than I normally ever eat even without being pregnant so I was super confused and I was super bummed that whole day I went home and I was thinking like how am I going to get my my weight not necessarily down but how am I going to keep it from climbing like extra extra high and so like I was even thinking of like dieting and stuff I'm like well I mean because I have to cut out something because I can't just let my weight just keep continuing on like that so I was like how can I diet and all this stuff and just being really really hard on myself well then my husband was like well why don't you just weigh yourself and I was like well yeah maybe I should just weigh myself so I got out our scale and it turned out that the weight that was being shown on my scale was 10 pounds less than the doctor was telling me that I weighed and I I was like how like who do I believe because you would think at a doctor's office their equipment would be the best and you know like at home stuff would not be as good as what you would get at a doctor's office I don't know but I I believed my scale because I didn't feel like I weighed as much as they were telling me that I weighed I felt like I weighed 
what my skill was telling me. So, long story, I know. The next time I went to the doctor, which was two weeks later, I weighed myself before I went in so I knew what I weighed so I was ready to like be like, whoa, listen, that's not right. But they weighed me and they weighed me right this time. And then sure enough, they like looked at it and they looked at, um, the doctor looked at my records and he was like, did you lose weight? Cause obviously you're not supposed to lose weight while you're pregnant, especially this far along. And I was like, nope, I did not lose weight. It was a problem with your guys' scale. And he was just, I mean, he was like, oh, okay. Like, like nothing even happened. And I was like all ready to like, fight it and like you know be like all upset about it <laughs> and he was just like oh okay whatever so that was my weight drama <laughs> but in actuality I've only gained about 23 pounds which is pretty much right where I should be at this point so everything's good in that area and I think that's everything that I have to share with you guys hopefully I can do another update before I actually end up giving birth we shall see it'll be interesting to see if um, my teacher was right about the two to four weeks thing I mean she is an experienced doula she's been doing it for like over 20 years so I feel like she knows what she's looking for, uh, but we'll see. <laughs> we shall see what happens. I will go ahead and show you guys my belly bump. All right, this is my belly bump. Definitely have a five pounder in there right now. Definitely a big old belly. Thank you guys so much for watching this pregnancy update. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.